Hey, it's Tom. And Mike. From Take Time to Travel. We were lucky enough to be able to spend five nights exploring the beautiful city of Venice, Italy, and its many canals. While staying in this lovely Venetian apartment with huge lofted ceilings, as well as a gorgeous canal view. And of course, we're going to show you all of it in this video. Make sure to stick around until the end to find out how much it cost. It's perfectly situated at the border of the bustling San Marco neighborhood and the quieter Castello neighborhood. Close enough for a short walk to all the attractions, but far enough away to be able to get some peace and quiet. Let's go check it out. Come on in, I'll show you around. As soon as you step inside the door, there's the entryway here. We do have a coat rack to hang your coat up, but we have not needed coats. It's been really hot while we've been in Venice. And then we're gonna walk into the bedroom and immediately on the right is the closet area, place to sit down and do your shoes or whatever. And we've got all our clothes hung up in here. Ample area to do that. There's also lots of drawer space down below and those closets are on both sides, so plenty of room. And then come on in through here, into the bedroom. It's a good queen size bed. There's a painted headboard at the back and then the ceilings are lofted way up high with these beautiful beams. You can see lots of artwork hung around and also some knickknacks and some books to read. And then we're gonna head back out this way and directly across from the bedroom through this door is the laundry room. There's a small washing machine in there so it's been handy for us. We've been able to get some laundry done. And then the next door you come to is the bathroom. Go ahead, Mike. And it has a step up to the toilet and to the bidet. And then also there's glass doors the shower is fully glassed in and it's got a rain head shower. It's also got a hand wand there. And on the other end, there's a place to sit down and also it's got a towel, heated towel rack. And all the shampoos and conditioners have been provided. Then also we've got the vanity and sink and a mirror in behind. And then good sized windows here, they're all obscured, but it lets in lots of light in the morning, which has been really nice. And then heading on through, come into the living room. And this is a really good sized living room, lots of place for seating. This two seater sofa also makes into a bed and lots of easy chairs. And then over here we have a fireplace it's not actually a fireplace anymore. It's got the TV set into it, so you can watch TV if that's what you want. We haven't even tried it yet, so, and I don't think we will. Mm -hmm. And then here is a good sized counter area, breakfast bar, there's a couple of stools, and in the kitchen we've got a microwave. There's a four burner gas stove down below. It does have an oven. And then we've got the dishwasher here, double sink, and lots of dishes, pots and pans, and silverware, everything you could need for a stay. And then we'll head over this direction into the dining room. Good sized dining room. It's got a huge table with six chairs. Also has the refrigerator in the dining room. Not sure what that's all about, but I guess there wasn't enough room in the kitchen. And then come on over here, Mike. Out this window, the dining room, there's a spectacular view down the canal. See the gondolas going down through the canal under the bridge and people passing over. Just a beautiful view. And then we'll head back into the living room, but before we go too far, there's also more windows. And again, just show the view of that canal. And also you can see, start to see some of the clay tile rooftops of our neighbor's places. And then back around into the living room. We've got this beautiful high ceiling again with these beams and there is a loft area up top. 
and I'm going to take you up there now. So the stairs over here, fairly open. We do have an air conditioning unit up top here and it's been really handy. The weather's been in the 30s the whole time. There's also an air conditioning unit in the bedroom. We haven't used that yet, but it's there just in case you need it. And then once you come up into this loft area, there is a, a bed that you can use. This thing folds out into a bed if you had an extra guest. And then again, we've got a desk over here. There's a stereo and some CDs, lots of books to read if that's what you wanted to do. Although I can't imagine you would. And then come on over here, I've got something special to show you. These stairs and this door lead out into a traditional rooftop deck. It's called an Altana. Watch your step there, Mike. And look at that view again down onto the canal. Absolutely beautiful. And then we'll come up this way. We do have a small table and chairs that you could sit here and have your morning coffee or whatever. It gets quite hot up here during the day, so you might wait until the evening to come out and have an after dinner drink. And then look at this view, all the beautiful tiled rooftops. You can see the churches sticking up above the rooftops. And also a lot of the neighbors have altanas or rooftop decks also. So that's what we get to spend five nights in beautiful Venice in this Airbnb. Overall, we really enjoyed our stay at this beautiful centrally located apartment surrounded by pretty little canals, which was reasonably priced for Venice at about 415 Canadian dollars for each of the five nights. So 2,070 Canadian dollars in total, including all taxes and fees, or about 1,600 euros. We really enjoyed making today's video and we hope you enjoyed watching it too. If you did, we'd really appreciate it if you would like, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications on our future videos. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm and it helps our channel to grow. And remember, take time to travel. Catch you on the next one.